Welcome back to the 15th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. And today, quickly, apologies from the very beginning, this will be much, much longer video. So here, what we're gonna do today is basically equipping a weapon, which we did. So basically we can throw and equip and we can shoot. And here, a uh, well, there are a few things which uh, need to be arranged and distinguished. Well, let's say, for example, we have the machine gun or the minigun, which has a specific spread, a speed, a friction, and for example, a different kind of spread attached. And let's say we go to our Uzi, and then this one has a huger spread, and then boom, we can fire quite fast, and therefore, boom, then for example, we have our piston, pistol, which is very accurate, so there's no spread. But, of course, the fire rate is not that high. And, of course, let's say the damage is also not that one. What we're not going to do today is basically this dude here. So, basically, the shotgun. And, of course, hey, all the weapons have a different kind of ammunition. So, SMG, um, I don't know, the Uzi or the regular one. They have all different kind of ones. And, therefore, we need to distinguish them, those in advance. So, what we're going to do is, first of all, give them different kind of timers so how fast they can shoot and then later on well, have different kind of ammunition so this is the thing which is getting passed in and of course then if we, we are creating our shot boom then it is doing some stuff so this is what we're gonna do in this video tutorial and then later on we even have the muzzle which you're seeing also but this is for the future as well as the shotgun so this is one up indie i am a developer and hey if you like what you see consider subscribing sharing and liking that would be amazing of course so let's go right into the good stuff get rid of the project so here once again to make this quite plastic you know we want to paint a little bit so first of all let's say we have a weapon and then for example we equip it and then uh, well, if we have this sprite attached to the player and of course it can recoil so it's doing something like this this is in the next tutorial then if we are firing a shot we're having some muzzle and let's say the dude is moving or let's say turning around then the muzzle must follow where the weapon is so therefore this is getting a little bit tricky and why is that because we can actually fire from the direction and the middle center position of the player but this would look kind of silly we can do this we did this in our last tutorial but this is not what we want to have so therefore we need to get a very specific point which is here so at the end of where the sprite is so basically the end of the weapon there it makes sense to create the muzzle and of course the shot and therefore we need to give it some length and some well, angle to get there and therefore you need to grab the X and Y position and then go plus length here blah 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 and this is what we're gonna do um, in a few minutes or seconds and then of course hey when once we created our well once we picked up our weapon then of course then we have different kind of shoot timer and then um, well let's say the shotgun just has two shots but the minigun has quite a few because it's a minigun it has tons of shots which we can use enough then once again we are creating our shot and then it is flying towards an enemy one of the things you need to go in a specific direction so let's say we are pointing to the right straight to the right so zero then it normally should appear that it's going but let's say the minigun has quite a huge spread so therefore we are taking the direction in from our player but we have a inbuilt spread depending what kind of weapon we're having for example the pistol has almost no spread but let's say the uzi is just all over the place and then all the weapons have different kind of speeds this is kind of important let's say for example we have a shotgun where the speed is very high at the beginning because we're just like boom uh, bursting out but then it quickly halts but for, for let's say for more projectile based uh, weapons then of course the friction is not as much so therefore we can do some fine tuning and then the last thing we need to input some damage into the shot so boom once we are hitting an enemy hey we need to know 
what kind of damage are we actually dealing with that what we're not going to do is image rotation so basically this thing is uh, being turned around depending where the player is so uh, depending um, from where we started to shoot this is thing is around so basically we're not going to bother with that and we're not going to bother with changing the sprites this will be one universal for all of them of course hey later on this would make sense to change because let's say a shot from a shotgun looks a little bit different than the one from i don't know a pistol or a machine gun but hey this should be good enough for us so let's go right into coding because hey we want to actually do something six minutes in and nothing has happened so let's go into our project our hotline clone and boom first thing which is kind of important is to import some values because we want to um, have them and tweak them later on but of course we want to set every time we are creating a, a shot um, we want to have all the time the correct values so therefore we go into our object control and here we have debug debug as false and we i'm inputting quite a lot of variables but don't be afraid they're not too difficult to understand because hey the name is the game of what they are doing so here um, what kind of damage the knife is having what kind of damage the pistol smg uzi and so on then the next thing how fast this thing is actually flying so the speed so as you can see the shotgun has the highest one and the other ones are between seven and nine of course once again you can um, fine-tune that to your liking then let's say different kind of frictions for all the projectile based weapons then the shot time and this is how fast we can shoot so let's say we're having a pistol so after 45 steps we can shoot once and then 45 steps we need to wait then for the second one and so on so if you are holding the left mouse button so let's say for an uzi we can fire quite fast because after four steps instantly boom we can fire then four steps and boom the next shot is getting fired so of course this one is in this regard superior but of course it's not that accurate then how much ammunition in total a weapon can hold here this is a variation you can always go with a maximum value but let's say if you want to keep it a little bit more dynamic you can actually count how many how many shots the player the enemy is shooting and then once you destroy the enemy or kill him or whatever then boom he is dropping a weapon and then it can be a maximum value minus some random value and therefore you can uh, make this a little bit more dynamic if you like but of course a hotline Miami always goes with full values in this regard the next thing well how, how much spread you're having let's say the pistol has almost no spread it's very accurate but the uzi is all over the place so it goes plus to minus 25 um, degrees yeah degrees from the origin it can at the maximum go from um, plus to minus 25 from the original direction which we are pointing at so therefore um, interesting to behold then one thing which we can do this is a key which we delete later on so let's go for it shift let's go for let's go for space and here what we want to do is just um, toggle off debug so debug is let's say it is true then we say cool make it false boom uh, make it false and of course else hey if it's not true then make it true here we can just toggle between debug on and off and this is of course for us important because we want to sometimes check this stuff but it shouldn't be all the time on because it could be distracting of course later on you delete that so the um, well the real player cannot actually access that so let's get rid of that and go into our player throw pick up nah we don't need them so they are they should be pretty much finished so let's go into our shooting mechanics so where are you where are you released here we go so this is the last time what we did so 
just a quick little reminder. Come on, come on, come on. So basically we could pick up a weapon, so boom, weapon, ammunition zero, so we pick up one weapon, doesn't really matter because it was a generic and then boom, we can shoot. And as you can see, it's shooting from the center of the player, which is looking kind of silly, so therefore we need to adapt that later on. But of course, already we are um, using that in a good way. So a few things which we want to change. So first of all, we great, we have already a direction and a speed, but we want to use the ones from our object control. Therefore, once again, once we have them, we just need to go into our object control and later tweak them, which is sweet. So let's go for, which one do we want to go? Let's go for the MG, so machine gun. So this is the speed and of course it is hold in this object uh, where are you? here you go and this of course works because we just have one object control if you have multiple ones then there are other ways but this one is just a unique one so basically this is cool then the next thing we want to go hey we want to shoot in a specific direction and then we uh, shoot at the image angle so basically where we are facing to but plus a specific spread so spread machine gun and of course here this would be kind of silly because this would be a clamp to one position and therefore we copy paste that and say a random range here we go and then go between minus and plus that value and here let's go for minus this value so minus 20 which it, I guess it was holding 20 then go minus 20 uh, plus 20 and of course from the image angle and therefore we already have a neat spread so let's check it out this should already be a little bit better right mouse button and as you can see we have a decent spread which is good this is definitely what we wanted to have in a specific um, speed also so the next thing which we like to do let's so let's go on our thing so we have our spread and our speed then a specific friction um not all the games actually have that but i think it's not a bad uh, thing to have a friction because it's uh, it is actually better in my opinion so friction here we go and for example for the shotgun it has a very um well, high friction so basically you're shooting you're pumping that stuff quickly out and then boom it uh, reduces the speed significantly after a short period of time so where the friction 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 g so this is very very practical and later on we can equip and do this for all the other weapons because for now this is looking generic well we will adapt that also so we have a friction here so what's the next thing which we want to do well, pass in some damage. So let's go. And this thing we haven't set up. So let's go shot damage. And this variable doesn't exist as far as I can know. So let's go into our object shot. So this one was for now empty. So let's give it a damage, a default one of, well, one. And then of course later on we are overwriting this so this is good let's clean it because uh, let's get rid of this because we are not going to use it and then hey what kind of damage do we want to have once again it has been uh, held in our object control so this is the neat part about this and here we could be almost finished but we come to a little issue first of all these positions are not the best way to do this then the second thing is um, we have a specific um, timer so basically how fast we can shoot so therefore we need to get rid of this point and put it inside and this is of course not looking like from inside and we need to put it um, as a specific thing in there so basically not the value of 20 so what kind of um, what's this the shot timer of the machine gun this is eight and now we will see 
that this thing is firing a little bit faster. Let's check this out, right mouse button, and boom, definitely much better. So this is more like a machine gun. Sweet, so this does work. And of course, we need to put the ammunition being used and, to, and minus one. Why do I put this in here? Well, it makes kind of sense because let's say your weapon is a melee weapon and you don't have any ammunition. This is just for the range run. And this is of course, hey, um, good, but we want to make it quite specific. So we just say switch, then weapon, there we go. Then and off switch. This is a thing which I do because sometimes you have bazillions of those guys here and therefore mm, you could get lost. So therefore it's not the worst idea. And then case, it is what kind of uh, MG. And of course, break, here we go. And this is how you could actually set this up. Then of course, the next thing which we want to have is specific values for from where we are shooting. So let's go back to the gray drawing which we are having here. I want to get well this specific point. So therefore, I need to grab the X and Y position and then boom, go there. So therefore, I need specific length and then a length there with a specific angle so and then i don't know it's something between 12 to, to 20 degrees something like this and these are hard-coded values so here you need to well make up your own ones which uh, you which you use for your own sprites so therefore i'm going to introduce two variables and for now well there's just there's nothing in there boom so get the sh correct short and muzzle positions. Therefore here, we can actually use them. Boom, boom. And then, well, because this is unique for all the weapons because uh, some of the sprites are longer, some of them are shorter. And therefore, G, where are you? Okay, MG, here we go. So here, I just say like hey shot x and then it's starting from the x position of our player and then going with a length of 16 to well uh, to a little bit from it and of course with a specific angle which is then the normal one but of course we go minus a value because um, the angle is minus so, so for example um, lots of drawings so basically this is our regular angle so the image angle or direction or whatever you want to call it from our player but we want to have this specific angle so therefore it always goes minus and then i don't know between 16 22 or, or whatever here you need to play around until it looks good enough so let's check this out and this should now fire from the correct position from the correct position was the issue you don't want to fire. Uh, ah, that was the AKA. Ah, let's see if, uh, if we actually put one MG in the room. Yes, of course we did. So, haha, <laughs> got it. I thought I already made a mistake. So as you can see, it does work. And of course, we have no ammunition left because we didn't pass in how much we want of so this this was definitely not enough it doesn't really matter so basically this is working so basically what we can already do so i will copy paste that because hey life is too short for making this kind of stuff here we go and then boom tons of things so but, but basically in the end it's the same stuff so basically we do the same stuff for all the specific weapons so for the pistol a different shot x shot y then for the smg different kind of shot as you can see here we have a value of 12 and 14 at the length and then a different kind of angle this is how you can set this up hopefully this wasn't too long for you guys and yeah so let's check it out
very 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 quickly of course and then well let's see working and working this is good so have a good one one up indeed